A woman from Atmore is living her dream, representing the state of Alabama in the National American Miss program. WKRG News 5 Summer Pool introduces us to this inspiring young woman. Jeez, bro, that shit is loud. A woman from Atmore is living her dream, representing the state of Alabama in the National American Miss program. WKRG News 5 Summer Pool introduces us to this inspiring young woman. Inspiring in what way, dude? I mean, look, it's a beauty pageant, and I know that they judge you for more than just one thing at beauty pageants usually, like your personality and how you display yourself and maybe your poses or whatever else you want to do. Like, I get it, but I just can't help but to think that maybe she was given this award not based off of any performances, but actually just because they felt bad that she kept coming back and kept not winning over and over and over again. Like I said, I know there are more to it. I've seen some beauty pageants. I'm, I'm ashamed to admit it of women going like, yeah, the, my favorite thing about America is like, I love it. It's just so great. And you know, loving your mom is like the best, by the way. So yeah, like I've seen those before, right? I get it. Like <laughs> there is more to it. You display a lot of stuff, but Given the fact that it's literally a beauty pageant, and I know that it's not like a real beauty pageant, it's like the runner up to the real beauty pageant. You know what I'm talking about? Like sometimes there's like a pre qualifier, and then there's that that gets you to that. But even still, when you think of beauty pageant, right? What the fuck is this, right? What the fuck? Being obese is not a good representation of what beauty is. And I know there are gonna be people out there that are gonna go, this is amazing, this is so much good shit for inclusivity, inclusive, but like, think about this. Would you really wanna be known that you, you won this beauty pageant not because you were good, but because basically like affirmative action, like they just threw you in because they felt bad and they wanted inclusion. Like, I never understood how people can like, look, take your crutches, wherever you can get them. Like, I, I would probably take this award too, but I wouldn't feel good knowing that I got this award because I was good, but because instead I was fat, I would not feel good in that knowledge. I would feel pretty terrible, matter of fact. I didn't do anything. I was just fat. I ate. It's very easy to obtain a very fat body. I could do it. I remember when I was gaining a lot of weight, I had love handles on the side of my body. Now I'm like in peak physical condition. I have no love handles and I'm like beautifully majestic, right? And other things like that. And I have a big penis, but... It's just interesting to me how some people, because, like, I've seen some social media posts from this woman. She's repping it. She's saying, like, everybody that thinks I'm lesser, like, fuck you, I'm, I'm with it, I'm bad, whatever. I don't know, man. It doesn't matter to me personally. It's just kind of crazy that, to me, I would feel really, really sad knowing that I didn't win this award because I was beautiful or whatever the fuck. Like, you are not that girl, and it's okay. Like, certain people don't, don't, certain people don't need to be that girl. <laughs> A crowning achievement. Eight years in the making. Eight years this woman went to this shit, dude. Eight years she went to... She looked like she gained some weight, too. She looked like she gained some weight, man. Man, look, dude. We went over this shit. All right, let me move myself a little bit because I feel like... Let me move myself at the bottom right here. But we went over this on my stream the other night, okay? And I... I believe that this woman is a makeup guru or a makeup whatever. She does makeup professionally. And I just can't help but to say this, dude, but her makeup is very bad. Her makeup is very, very bad. It doesn't blend properly. I don't know why her forehead is so goddamn burnt. It just doesn't look well. Like on the left, she looks better. Her eyebrows are better on the right, but I'm not here to like, you know, blast her or whatever. But it, to me, it just seems like she did gain weight. She's been doing this for eight years. Why didn't she win for those last eight years? I don't know. And we're going to go over it. We're going to look through the other contestants and we're going to see like, what do you guys think? Like, which ones do you think were more of the person that should have won? Sarah Milliken of Atmore has competed in the National American Miss program since she was 15. I competed once as a junior team. Man, why did, why did they put this dress on her, dude? This is crazy as fuck, bro. This is crazy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That is insane, bro. Somebody said that she looked like Kirby. Somebody said that she looked like Kirby, dude. She got the Kirby outfit on. Why is she even still wearing this? Like, do you, is she wearing this outside? Like, I know she didn't win it today, 
I know they didn't she didn't win it the day they took this video right so that means she got this award she got the crown put it away and then they called her up like hey we want to do this thing on you on the news do you think you can come and she was like yeah absolutely and then she like got the the the, the whatever this thing is and then the, the the tiara and then she went there by the way makeup also not looking good here i don't know what the fuck is going on here dude not good makeup how are you a makeup person and they let you go on live TV like this. Like you didn't you didn't consult anybody. You didn't go to any of your girls and go, hey, does this look appropriate? Do I look okay? Why am I so white here, but I look Latina in every other angle? I don't even know what I am anymore. That that would be what I'm asking. Because I I don't know what she is in terms of like ethnic background. It's very ambiguous. I don't know. She could literally be a white woman. Or she could be a very cultured, spiced up Latina. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, dude. I don't know. The makeup is so bipolar. But regardless not it not it dude not it for that outfit choice but anyway when i was 15 again as a teen when i was 16 and not placing that was really really hard but like obviously you weren't gonna pay place if you're look certain people are not going to always be able to do certain things like i'm never gonna be able to shoot them threes in the nba which is fine for me because i know i'm like five foot ten which realistically i'm more close to like five foot nine i usually lie to people i'm gonna keep it a buck with you right if i'm on dating apps i say i'm five ten five eleven but i'm actually realistically like around five nine and but i could probably be around six feet if i did things correctly or whatever but rest assured i would never lie to you about this my penis is large and that's okay I'm okay with that it's a little bit more ambiguous and I remember one time this one girl she was trying to hustle me for penis pictures and I, I know you guys might be like David who's hustling for penis pictures trust me I had so many women not men well well I did have a few men I've had a lot more men try to hustle me for penis pictures than I've had women hustle me for penis, penis pictures I, I promise that's gay on their side it's not gay for me you're not gay for receiving the request you know that right like it's not if somebody asks you for it you're not gay for having that be requested from you you know what i'm talking about that's not how that works you gotta you gotta be the one that like receives it and then you know prescribes it that's not you know i don't do that but i remember i had this one girl i'm not gay by the way i've never been gay but i remember i had this girl and she was like let me see that shit like you always talking a big game about your long john silver let me see your long john silver and i was like nah i can't show you that shit like what are you talking about I can't, well, I can't take panoramas. I don't got enough storage on my phone to take all that picture. You know what I'm talking about? Like, go on Google and type up the picture of the universe. That's me. But obviously, I was joking around. My penis is way bigger than all those things. But I told her, I was like, send me the, send me the good shit too. Like, you send me that and I'll send you this. And she was like, oh, um, what if I just send you my boobs? Is that good? And I was like, no. Uh, my penis is way more valuable than whatever you have on your chest. Matter of fact, I've been looking. Like, I get it. Like, boobs are cool. But like, can we just be honest for a second? boobs in today's environments are whatever like nobody really even cares about them anymore it's all about the back boobs which are the butt and that's what everybody wants nowadays like everybody talks about it like yeah i had a girl she was twerking on my face and i really loved that shit because i was doing that shit thrace mace windu in her booty cheeks yeah i had a penis and it was i don't know dude, it always ends up being gay i was about to say some gay shit there so i'm just gonna stop myself before i do but the point i'm making is like i'm not, you're not gonna send me like your chest and think that that's somehow going to be equivalent to my you know massive megalodon meat like that's not the, that's not the case like I, i'm a you know you got to work for it a little bit right and i got to see some moisturization too you're not gonna just send me dry vagina like that's crazy you know what i'm talking about like that's that'd be like me just sending a picture of like my pubic hair like what the fuck are you doing right anyway i don't know what we're talking about but we're, let's go back i was 15 again as a teen when i was 16 and not placing that was really really hard now at 23 the family like me going like man i can't believe i just i just cannot believe that i really showed up i i there was an audition in town and i showed up and the role was for martin luther king and i thought i did a good job like i read the role perfect i did a great job and they said no we're not going to give you the role and i was devastated i I'm still feeling a little emotional about it today. I don't know how I'm gonna feel. I don't know like it's just hurting me so deeply What the fuck did you expect? What are you expecting? Obviously Yes, you can't okay. It's all right though. I mean you won now after eight years of trying but still God damn dude. What did they, they, what did they just give you the award because they, you kept showing up and they just felt bad? Uh, whatever bro. Maybe she's a great person. I don't know man. Let's I'm saying rings true third time's a charm just being able to come back eight years later and say okay i didn't give up on the stream and now 
because I didn't give up on it, I get to be the next Miss Alabama and wear this crown for a year. The purpose of the National American Miss program is to grow confidence and foster a positive self-image. Contestants range in age. I would be upset, dude. Can you imagine being the baddest bitch on stage thinking that you're going to win this shit? You know, you, you're looking good. You, when somebody says this, right? When somebody goes, I'm, I'm working for a beauty pageant or I'm working for a show, what are you imagining them doing? Going to the gym, working on the diet, doing the squats, and accentuating the body, whatever, right? That's usually what I think about. Not somebody eating until they're obese. Uh, it kind of seemed like that was easy. You know what I'm saying? Like, you didn't really do much at all. I do that shit already. So, what the fuck did you do? I, I don't know, man. Whatever, dude. <laughs> what? Whatever, to man. grow confidence and foster a positive self-image like it's positive it's a positive self-image for who like you're just encouraging obesity at that point by the way god damn bro what the fuck is going on with this girl dude why is her forehead so dark but her face is so bright what happened bro i shouldn't have to notice this stuff like i shouldn't be the guy sitting here critiquing these women on their makeup decisions i i don't know anything about that shit i'm a dude okay I, why should i have to be the one that has to tell these women i shouldn't i shouldn't be I just shouldn't be. Contestants range in age from 4 to 24. Milliken hopes to send a message to all girls and young women, not just those who compete in pageants. I hope that they learn that no matter what your body looks like, no matter where you come from, you can do anything that you set your mind to. Which is not true, by the way. That's obviously not the case. Like, if I wanted to play as Martin Luther King and I thought that I could play as Martin Luther King, guess what's going to happen? I can't because I am a white man. And because I am a white man, I don't have the black genetics to play for and even not all black dudes can even play as you know martin luther king you need a very particular facial structure so even then like no you can't just do shit like that like i get it like it's very you know inspirational to say you could do everything you set your mind to have you lived in the real world though have you ever like actually existed in the real world where you realize that no that's not the case but that's okay because even though you can't do everything you can still do quite a lot you can still do a good amount of things and just because you think that you know, oh, you wanted to do something, it's okay that you can't do that. Like, accept it. That's what the whole, like, body positivity thing was about. Like, just because you can't do certain things doesn't mean you can't do other things, and you can accentuate those things. And maybe you like that more than you would have liked it if you didn't do this. And that's all right. Like, I just don't understand, like, this whole, this is a thing you tell your child, but it's actually really dam damaging to even say that, because sometimes you're setting your child up for failure. Like, if you're sitting there going, oh, yes, honey, you could do whatever you want, and your kid goes, Okay, so that does that mean that I could be a Jedi one? Does that mean that I could like fly starships and fight the shit lords? And your mom goes, yes, honey, that's right. You can do all those things that I know nothing about. You can do that. What are you talking about, mom? No, I can't. I don't. I can't do any of that stuff. It's that. What are you talking about, dude? Stop setting your kids up for failure. Be realistic, okay? Like I get it. You want to be like motivation to your child, but simultaneously, sometimes it's like crazy it's crazy to say so yes it, it you can do certain things if you put your mind to it but like have it within the realm of possibility because sometimes people just be saying like i'm gonna do everything and then you look at them like bro what are you fucking what are you fucking talking about you're five foot two bro you ain't playing in the nba dude what are you talking about no i didn't think that it was possible for a plus size girl to win i didn't think i didn't think it was either dude um and you probably most likely won based off of affirmative action which is Neither here nor there, bro. I don't believe in affirmative action. I think people should probably get positions based off of how their performance is. Um, I'm okay with getting positions based off of physical appearances as well. Like, if you need to hire a fat person because you need a fat person, fine. If you need to hire a very beautiful person because you need a very beautiful person, fine. Like, I'm totally fine with all that stuff. But um, if you're sitting here going, like, I'm surprised that a fat girl was able to win that, me too, bro. That's just crazy. Set your mind to no, I didn't think that it was possible for a plus size girl to win. I didn't think it was possible for a girl from small town Alabama to win. I don't know what that has to do with anything. You're literally Miss Alabama. So like, I don't think it really matters where you are from. That'd be like somebody going like, oh man, I didn't know that it was possible for somebody from Boston to win Miss, Mr. Massachusetts. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? It's in Mass. It's in M Massachusetts, right? What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, I mean, uh, whatever, dude. I don't, maybe I don't understand the context. It's possible for a plus size girl to win. I didn't think it was possible. Makeup, makeup is really bad. Can I keep it a buck? The outfit, too. I don't know what the fuck is going on, dude. <laughs> I just don't get it. I don't even know where you bought that shit. What is this? For a girl from small town Alabama to win. Getting that win. Nice hair. Bro, like, what? Woo! Look. When you're looking at her in the face here, are you seeing a white woman, dude? I'm seeing a Latina. I'm seeing a straight Latina here, dude. Tanned. 
really tan. Like, she's like three shades darker here than she was in the other. Like, can we just be honest for a second? Maybe it's the lighting, but god damn, bro. What the hell happened here? What is this makeup? Why is it so inconsistent from this to this? What is going on? Girl to win. I didn't think it was possible for a girl from small town Alabama to win. Getting that win took a lot of hard work. I worked. What was the hard work? Eating? Eating? That seems easy. Literally every single day for 365 days. There wasn't a day that I wasn't practicing my on stage speech or my introduction, interview. And Milliken's. The three things? What the fuck? How many times do you write a script? What are you talking about? Your interview? Your on stage fucking script? What are you talking about? Isn't that. But I can write an on screen script for you right now in Google Docs. Inside of an hour. Less than an hour, probably. I got you. What do you mean? How, you needed 365 days to do that? What the fuck are you talking about? And this is what I'm saying. Like, if you're in a beauty pageant, okay, and you're sitting here going, like, I worked really hard, 365 days, I'm thinking, you went to the gym, you were working out, you were maintaining size, you were eating what's right for your body, you were doing the work to actually maintain the size, not writing scripts every single fucking day and rehearsing it. What are you talking about, dude? How do you do, all right, what? Maybe I, don't, maybe I don't know what I'm fucking talking about, but this sounds insane. I don't get it. I, I, I just don't understand, dude. Wasn't practicing my on stage speech or my introduction, interview. And Milliken says what you see on stage barely scratches the surface. Is she yawning or is she hungry? Like, what's she eating right here? Of what this program has meant to her. It was honestly so amazing. I met so many. These are the contestants? <laughs> Damn, that's, that's okay. All right, bro. Bro, this is a nice dress, dude. This is a nice dress, dude. She looks like Ariel, but if it was pink, right? Like her dress from The Little Mermaid, but pink, that looks beautiful, dude. The white, this will do. This woman's very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Better. Better. <sighs> Amazing. Just I would be upset if I was any of these girls. I really would. I would be upset. I'd be like, damn, you're telling me this woman had a better personality than all of us? Get the fuck out of here, bro. You're telling me her personality was better than all of us. So, like, she had more, more personality than they had looks, apparently. And they also don't have personality because she's literally so massive in the personality department that it outshined literally everyone here in terms of beauty and other personality. I I didn't, I guess, dude, if, if you're going to sit there and say that, man, sure. Uh, but it, it don't seem practical. Accomplished, empowering women. That was definitely. Empowering by what? You li Okay, look, I'm not going to say that it was affirmative action, but like, it seems like you just got this award because they felt bad. The best part. Milliken will now. Whew. 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 Damn. Damn, bro. She don't. Bro, that makeup is not it. It's not it. I got to keep it. I'm sorry. It's, I got to keep it a buck. It's not. It's not it. It's not it. What am I looking at? What is that? Oh, my God. <gasps> oh, my God. Now represent Alabama at the national pageant on Thanksgiving week. Summer Pool, WKRG. Thanksgiving week is insane, bro. So she's going to the Nationals, which is like the, the big one and done where you actually choose. Damn, bro, I got to keep it a buck. That's just some not good outfit, bro. Nobody told her. Nobody fucking told her. Where's the chair? I don't even see where the chair starts. Man, that's, nobody told her this shit, huh? That's tough, man. That's tough. Nobody in her corner. Nobody in her corner, bro. About me is truly disgusting and I cannot fathom how people think it's okay to say these things the easy thing would be to give up I could hide my face but instead I say watch me so if you're gonna say watch me you can't be also like disgusted by the fact that people are saying what they're saying it is what it is like you are you're provoking it to a certain degree like you're almost kind of asking for them to say what they're saying dude which is that they don't like the fact that an obese woman won a beauty pageant which is crazy but it is what it is like i get that you don't like the language being used but it's you know if you're gonna sit there and antagonize the people it is what it is watch me crush every goal i set watch me chase this dream watch me show every single hater why a plus size woman can and should be a title holder true watch me whip Wami me nay nay Wami me whip whip well, I mean, nay, nay.
Now, the trolls are harsh, Hannah, obviously. Dude, that just I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry to say this shit, dude. It's just not it. Like, the makeup is just not it, dude. How are you a makeup artist and it's this bad? I just can't believe how terrible it is. Like, I'm not even trying to be mean. It's just not good. It's terribly applied. It's inconsistent. It doesn't match anything else. It's really bright in the middle part of her face, but it's also bright on the sides too. And it's dark on the corners. And dude, it's like literally black on the corners. It's so dark. What happened? How are you a makeup artist? You do this professionally and yet it's so bad. Goes without saying, but on the flip side, Milliken is receiving an outpouring of support. Ooh. Fans writing that people are just too worried about her physical looks instead of- Dude, what are you talking about, man? She's literally obese. Like, what do you mean not worried about her physical looks? That's literally like the main thing here. What are you talking about? We should be concerned about a physical shape, dude. She's literally on the brink of death. What she's accomplished and that every- What is, what does she accomplish? She just got like affirmative action into the position. Like, I mean, sure, it's like, I'm happy. Like, wow, it's so great. She won Miss Alabama, woohoo! But dude, like, what do you want? She didn't get there because she worked hard for it. Everyone deserves to be celebrated. Not ev if everybody deserves to be celebrated, then the, the the idea of celebration becomes mute. It becomes literally useless at that point. If everybody is special, then no one is special. It's literally how that works. So like, I'll give you an, I'll give you a good a good analogy here, right? If everybody, let's say for instance, I have a big penis, right? But let's just say eight inches is at like. Everybody has eight inches, then eight inches is average. You understand that? There's a reason why five inches is average because most people have five inches, right? So if eight inches was what most people had, then, then that becomes average. If everybody has 10 inches, then everybody has average. It's average now, that's average. So if you're sitting there and saying, everybody is beautiful, therefore no one is beautiful because that becomes average. You can't be beautiful because beautiful implies you're outside the norm and you're in a, like, a very particular category. But if everybody is beautiful, then suddenly nobody is beautiful. So in the same thing here, like if everybody is celebrated, why the first of all, why the fuck are we celebrating everybody? What the fuck? For what? I just beat off this morning. Can I fucking be celebrated for that? Please celebrate me in the comment section. But it's just like, why the fuck are we celebrating? No, you shouldn't just be celebrating people for no other reason than just to celebrate them. Also, again, makeup is really bad, dude. Really bad. The National American Miss Program for Girls. Dude, like, it, this shirt was so tight, I can literally see the indentations of where the shirt was. And she pulled down because it was probably so tight. Like, this shirt is probably, like, three times smaller than what she needs it to be, bro. God damn! She won?! Age 4 to 24 says it's based on fostering positive self-image by enhancing natural beauty. What is natural about being overweight? Like, what do, you, what do you mean enhancing natural beauty through the realm of making it unnatural? What the fuck are you talking about? There's nothing natural about being overweight or obese. What the hell are you talking about? Growing and confident. Definitely growing. Now, this was Milliken's third time vying for the crown, having competed twice before and not even placing. That should tell you something, dude. You Three times, okay? And then the two other times you didn't even place. And then the third time you just win? Okay, what changed? What changed? What changed? She will now compete in the national finals in November. Man, I am she ain't gonna get far on that one, bro. That's crazy as fuck. Rooting for her. She's strong. She's beautiful. Bro, get the fuck out of here, dude. Why you say, bro, you, you, she gotta put a condom on for all the dick riding she's getting right now, dude. God damn, bro. You guys gotta hop off a little bit riding her shit like that, dude. Damn. This is a lot of drama, though. I mean, she should be enjoying this moment. Have winners of other pageants faced this? Dude, get the fuck off my face, dude. It's just, it's such a crazy ass thing to say. Like, has have, have any other previous winners had to deal with this type of shit? She's not like the other winners, bro. She's in her own category. She's definitely different. So to sit there and say, like, I just don't understand. Like, I just don't understand why people are overreacting like this. Has anybody else been treated like this? What the fuck are you talking about? She's not like everybody else. She's different, all right? So obviously she's gonna be treated fucking different. Why are you guys saying this shit? This is so fucked up. Same kind of online hate. It does seem like there's a problem kind of all the time, Hannah. There's a lot of pushback about whether these pageants are just sort of antiquated. And it's certainly not the only time we have seen the ugly side of this pageant life. Just last month, Miss USA relinquished her crown owing to her mental health. And Miss Teen USA also resigning just two days later. Now, it's anyone's guess if these social media firestorms will continue as both Miss USA and Miss America work to adapt to these modern times. But I'm with you, Hannah. 
She is beautiful. And it sounds like the whole ethos of what that pageant was about, sort of celebrating your beauty and yes. who you are. It's exactly what she's doing. So they picked a good winner. She is a it's just sad, bro, because like I you can say whatever you want to say. Let me know what you guys think down below about this in the comments, because like I'm very interested in hearing your opinion. But if you're just like picking winners based off of like affirmative action, just like not not based off of performance or anything then at that point, like, nothing matters. Like, so if you say, like, she's a winner and she deserves it, whatever. That doesn't mean shit to me at that point. It's, like, fucking mute. It's mill. It's nothing. It's a fucking nothing. It's a big illusion, then, at that point. It's a fucking facade. So, I mean, you can totally root for her, dude. One up for that girl that don't know how to do her makeup. Great, beautiful, amazing. She's a spectacular person. You're a spectacular person. Thank you for watching today's video. That's the end of today's video. Let me know what you guys think down below about it. Um... I'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like, a comment, subscribe. Thank you for doing any of that stuff to help me grow on the algorithm. So if you could do that stuff for me, I'd appreciate you tremendously. Uh, if you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in flowers. Because flowers are beautiful, amazing, spectacular creatures. Kind of like yourself. But obviously you're not. You're sentient. You have the ability to reason and understand. Not like flowers. I don't think flowers can do that. So that's great on you. You know how to reason. And you can decide what is and what is not amazing. Like... For instance, telling you what you think about this video. I'm interested. I'm very interested. You beautiful, amazing, spectacular, awe-inspiring, angelic being. Anyway, guys, we're going to end the video here. If you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram, Twitter, Discord. All that stuff will be linked down below in the description of this video. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.